Hi, the subject of this tutorial is changing the wallpaper. We have this uh, a new skeleton Aureola Kongpi that we've installed. And let's quickly change the logo since the logo is still of uh, Linux Mint. All you have to do is follow this menu Linux Mint, Arch Linux, you time it, how many seconds it was, that's it. So we're going to talk about wallpapers. The wallpaper is this thing here. It has this logo, it's the standard wallpaper from Arch Labs. It's beautiful. At some point in time you want to change it, you have your own wallpapers and then you say let's configure it or let's in this case go to our preferences. Set any wallpaper and since I like it so much when I have my own wallpapers I can always go back to set the standard wallpaper and that's this one. So we have a shortcut to tell the system to go to the standard wallpaper. Ah, in this case, yeah, that's true. I've changed it in the meantime to something else and renamed it to default wallpaper and this, this one. I have to fix that again. So anyway, we have this menu. Okay, preferences. Set standard wallpaper. Set any wallpaper is interesting. So you can see the wall 4 is here as well. Wall 4. If I apply it, then we are back to the number. And I've changed the names and that's why, standard. So there are a lot of groovy planks. I've been looking for the same similar kind of look that Arch Labs uses. And I found also some nice pictures to have a similar kind of look, like so. So we can have our own uh, possibility. So nitrogen is the way to go I think I've tested a few of them and I, th I feel comfortable with this one why one I can tell where my folders are so I can tell the system go find my pictures in user share backgrounds which will only apply wall 4 go to the open box wallpapers so it's a folder inside of my open box configuration okay so that's these all kind of things what I have not installed yet it's Dropbox, it's not installed, you can see it here, status offline. It's not installed, meaning I don't have them now. So you can have uh, pictures for dual monitor or single monitor. And then I can tell you here, go full screen or screen one, this picture, screen two, that picture. And here are the possibilities you can have. So it's quite simple and it's, it shouldn't be difficult anymore to to be able to set a wallpaper. Um, so nitrogen is in my eyes, I think the best thing, particularly if you want to have a dual screen and you want different kind of wallpapers on both of them, or just one big wallpaper on one of them. That's also interesting, so full screen. So this is nitrogen, that's one. Then some of, the, some of you of Google Plus ask me, wow, what a beautiful wallpaper. The best tip I can give you is please try to and install Variety because Variety is, is great. One, it changes the wallpaper, but it does not only change the wallpapers you have, but it supplies you with new wallpapers, great new wallpapers. Also about bad wallpapers, it depends. But my collection is now about 500 wallpapers and they're all on desktopper.co and that's where Variety is getting the wallpaper. So we go to Variety and the way to, in, to actually start that is just to run it. So you have only one time to run it and then it's in the startup applications and you have a little icon in here. But now I have nothing in here. There's no way to start Variety. There's only one way. Run program is a way. Yeah. So you get this pop up. We have also the same applies, same program, Alt F2, the same, well, the same similar program, Application Finder. So variety, there it is. I uh, think we have other ways, like Windows D is a way, if you know the name, variety. And Windows Shift D is the kind of groovy look, the orange color from Arch Labs. Also variety. I'm going to show you another way. Just run a program inside of 
eternal always works. Tell it to go to the background and hope for the best. So don't matter well you can read all these things and waste your time but just go ahead and welcome to variety continue and then all my settings these are not standard settings when you copy paste it my scripts from number 600 from github.com slash eric dubois slash arch labs we installed my all my personal preferences personal preference is start variety when the computer starts change wallpaper every five minutes no change wallpaper on start yes this is the place this is the place where all my fun stuff is dropbox apps desktopper how big should they be how big at least 80 percent of my screen resolution otherwise it's all blurred things like that so all these extras are safe you don't have to put them in again and again and again on every distro i go to i have my variety settings with me this little icon is all i need i never never going to install it again this of run the program again it will be started now when i reboot all i have to do is double click or angle uh, sorry left click not double click left click and then you can go to the next wallpaper which is this one it's not my personal one so it's already coming from desktopper.co all you have to do is make sure you have an account at the desktopper.co and then log in and then you can synchronize all your wallpapers to the Dropbox. So you need to have a free Dropbox, from two gigabytes I think we get free. And then all you do is click on this little cloud icon and this particular wallpaper will be synced to your Dropbox and then you have it with you everywhere you go. So that's my advice, please check it out, Desktopper. So this is the new look. And um, well, I think I've we talked about the wallpapers, we talked about nitrogen, we talked about st the standard wallpaper, but I'm gonna fix it that it's gonna be Wolf 4 again and not this one. And that's it. We can set our wallpapers, we can do a lot of more stuff with variety, but then I'm going to point you to uh, ericdubois.pe. I have this article with I think 15, 16 tips just about variety so check them out there are a lot of things you can do like for instance scrolling over this icon is also interesting if you scroll over it then it will change the the set the the, the, the wallpaper as well but you should change some files you should follow my instructions on the github from the personal settings otherwise it will not work so that's that enjoy your new wallpaper and enjoy variety and desktopper it's the, a golden tip you'll thank me later okay ciao